Tab Nation and YouTubers. Today, it's your boy Tom, and we're talking about this really cool web application called Pooter. Uh, Pooter.com, link in the description, obviously. And I just want to go with this because it's just such a cool thing that I stumbled upon uh, on a Reddit post randomly. And I just was like, hey, I'm going to try this out. Ended up being extremely cool. I can see a lot of coders wanting to use this. Um, but even outside that, I can just see people in general wanting to use this as a portable desktop, kind of, is a way to look at it. And so it's a desktop that's basically in your browser. Uh, the cool thing I like about this, of why I can see this being useful for a lot of people, is because I can sit here, do coding here, or maybe I have a program that, it may be like in a warehouse I could see it being used, where you run some type of, like, uh, inventory software and everybody can access it at the same time without having to buy tons of licensing for that software or whatever uh, just a way that you go on vacation you don't want to take your external hard drive with you something comes up you got to jump on boom as long as you have internet access you have access to your stuff uh, you know yeah you can use Google Docs and you know all that but this is cool because you'll be able to do everything because um, it's an interactive desktop which is amazing so we're just going to do a quick intro video on this. Like I said, in the description below, uh, it's free. Uh, there's actually an opportunity to make money from this coming into the future, which I will also touch base on. So basically, like I said, description below, uh, below it's real simple. P-U-T-E-R dot com. Boom. This is what you see right off the bat. Now, in the top right corner, uh, if you can see my mouse here, uh, you can sign in. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to do that if you're going to be jumping around. Uh, if you close it, you know, you lose anything you did. So you definitely want to keep it here. So just to show you, I put some uh, my Chrome extension that I developed for auto hotkeys on here. If you haven't seen that, definitely check that video out. It's free in the Chrome store. Um, just for a test, though, I uploaded it here. Well, how did I upload it? Just right click on your desktop, push upload here. And this is just so simple. It's going to open a... Um, search thing here so you just go and find you know whatever document you want you say open and boom it's going to appear right here on your desktop uh, so you can build your own web applications uh, this is built in uh, html css and javascript uh, with some icons and pictures thrown in there also so just so you know if you ever want to develop your own it's super simple super easy uh, to do so from here uh, we got our little uh taskbar down here so we got start this is where pretty much everything's going to be so i like how it has my recent here that's really cool you can also search because uh, there is a lot of stuff and this is pretty new so i'm sure there's a lot more coming especially once you all start developing your own applications and sharing them with the world um so we're not going to touch base on all these i'll leave that to you to explore but you got you know like a pdf thing you know you even got something like paint uh that you can launch and um Kind of like a fancier version of paint yay uh so you know ten, you know save don't save we'll just say cancel uh, there's a lot of games on here actually and some of these were a lot of fun i mean look how many games there are on here and a lot of these are just spins on you know classic games that we know from old computer style all the way up to uh you know like applications you've played on your phone got a camera recorder picture viewer a simple notepad you got your code since this is a coding channel, we got to open that. Um, so yeah, here, you know, there you go. Print hello world. Um, so it's basically uh, VH uh, code, VS studio uh, kind of thing. So yeah, pretty cool there. I like that. Um, so like I was saying, you know, if you're coding, you can do that. Oh, just don't save. You got a terminal down here, uh, development center, which we're going to take a look at, you know, all that. You can add what you want here. Um, you can also sit here and say, like, you don't want something specifically, like notepad. You can always say remove from taskbar, and it's gone. So you can uh, play around with that, adjust it to uh, your liking um, with whatever you want. So now uh, we got our trash can, obviously. Up here, you can push the about, and here's something I was very impressed with. Uh, right off the bat, you're getting 500 megabytes for free. Uh, as you can see, I've all I've uploaded is my Chrome extension. That only took up uh, just uh, over 100 kilobytes. 
Uh, so yeah, you can put a lot on here. I mean, if you're doing videos, sure that 500 megabytes is going to go pretty fast. Uh, but hopefully in the future, they're going to have something uh, going on with that that you can uh, do. Uh, you also got, you know, a bunch of, you know, links here to different things uh, to check out if you need to get in contact or just want to know more about uh, the people behind the scenes here. So yeah, uh, Development Center is really cool. This is, as you see, I was talking about possibility of making money. Developments earn money. So follow these steps before uh, below to start earning money on Hooter. Uh, publish as many apps as you uh, want. Obviously, I've only done one. This was just a test. Uh, we automatically review the every app, you know, make sure that it's not something doing something bad or inappropriate. Uh, once they approve it, uh, you receive a minimum of a penny every time your approved apps are opened. Penny doesn't sound like a lot, but if you make a really good app, every time someone's running that app, you're making money. You know, so my Chrome extension, for example, if someone uses this, you know, five times a day, I have a hundred users, it's going to add up fast. And like I said, that's a minimum of one. I'm not sure how that works on how they decide um, that kind of stuff. Um, but this is cool. You can keep track of a lot of stuff. When did I create it? About a week ago. It's had six opens. Uh, two users are using it. I'm assuming I'm one of them. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, you got some links here. You can launch the app. So let's do that. And so here's my app. Uh, you know, it's not really designed for this. It was designed originally for Chrome, so you got to adjust a little bit on your own. Um, but yeah, here's my uh, Chrome extension for Auto Hotkey programming. But yeah, there's that. Now, another thing too, you got your settings here, so you can go in here, change like the description, title, that kind of stuff, um, all that. You can also click this pop up. And this will take you and do like a whole uh, screen of the application, kind of like a full screen thing. The other thing too is if you want to share, as of right now of recording this video, you do need to come up here to the URL, copy that, and then send it to whoever you want. So, so you can test this out. I will put this in the description below so you can play with it to see how that works. Um, but they are currently, I was told, in the works of actually making kind of like an app store in a way. So that way, um, as of right now, you kind of have to find the uh, different programs if they're not built into the system. Um, but they will be coming out with something where it's going to make it searchable a lot easier for you to find random stuff versus having to, you know, know somebody who developed the app and they have to share the URL with you and all that. So that is coming. So that will be awesome. I think that will be huge. So start developing on all this. This will be great. I mean, yeah, get into that. But yeah, the, like I said, uh, lots of apps in here. I'm trying to think if there's any others to touch base on. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've there's so many on here that I haven't even tried, but maybe like five of them. I'm trying to remember the one that I was really into for a while there. Uh, it's not in my recent because I just opened a bunch. What was that? But yeah, anyway, um, you know, lots of stuff here um, that you can open up, play with, you know, simple stuff, calculators. But like I said, you guys are going to help build this up, make it great and all that if you guys have any questions on you know just this whole thing in general definitely let me know in the comments below uh make sure to subscribe i'm always throwing videos out there that help with coding usually specifically in automation it's more specifically in auto hotkeys and if you guys have an idea on what you want to see me expand because like i said this is a very basic intro video let me know also in the comments below and hopefully I'll do a part two coming up in the future with this. Or just maybe when there's a bunch of updates, I'll, you know, say what's new, what's different, that kind of stuff. All right, everybody. Hope you find this useful. I thought it was a really cool thing to play with. Uh, I have tested this actually on my cell phone. Uh, worked pretty well. Worked on desktop, obviously, what I'm showing you now. So very diverse, very cool. Obviously, it's built in the browser. So we're looking at, you know any operating system really this is going to for the most part work um so you know mac windows linux all that good stuff all right everybody i will see you on the next video bye